Behind this curtain is the grand stage. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gaiathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. I know the Afjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Little do the Catechins know, this time we will fight. Men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The cat can stand no chance against them, and will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this rain, the catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. People will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avgen always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. She will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid, and do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you, and the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. News flash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Abjin, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths 
and 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? are in place. It's time for the show to begin. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavisha. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Is this Miss Acheron? Hello, I'm Himigo, the Astral Express's navigator. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure he needs no introduction, as you definitely know him. Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Tianzhou. Cannot ignore the safety of Penacone. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? 
sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Let's move out then! But where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen, the most wondrous, most magnificent show in Pentaconi's history is about to begin. The IPC cordially invites them to Clock Studio Theme Park. <laughs> Look, should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us.